I'm heading up to school today because they waxed they waxed my classroom floor and the room across like two weeks ago and then they had waxed the other two classrooms down the hall um, last week while I was at UT and then I knew that they still needed to wax the hall the main hall floor for the building which they did earlier this week and so I'm finally able to get into my classroom and so I'm gonna go fix up some stuff but I'm not gonna stay all day I'm giving myself a two-hour limit and let's see if I actually stick to that I'm gonna have to do that every time I come through that door. I am in my room after being gone for about three weeks, two weeks for vacation and conference, and then workshops. So as you can see, my room is a complete mess. The janitors have waxed the floors. However, my tables are back in rows now, um, and the hall is also waxed. So now it's the whole process of me putting the room together since this is my official first year in this particular room. So I was stupid and instead of waiting for help, I decided to move that shelving file cabinet combo by myself. So I have some advice if you are, whether you're a new teacher or a veteran teacher, get some help if you're moving large, heavy pieces of furniture because I think I just hurt my back. When I moved into the classroom at the end of last school year, they had everything, it was separated but it was against the wall over there. They just waxed the floors and they put everything over there on that side of the room. So try not to scrape up the or scuff up the floors. I moved the bottom half first, got it out. That was pretty easy. But then the shelving unit on top was heavy. So I had to sit there and like, you know, move bit by bit. And then when I got to that part of the room, I had to figure out, okay, how am I gonna get this up there? So instead of waiting until Monday for someone to come help me, I decided to try to play Superman and get that shelving unit, which I did. I was successful, but I think I, ended up hurting my back in the process. So I'm probably gonna have to soak in a nice warm bath later tonight or sometime this weekend. And hopefully my back doesn't have any problems after uh, this weekend because that was a task. Today's Friday, so there's one more week of summer vacation before teachers have to go back. And I wanna make sure, and let me flip the camera around. I wanna make sure that all this is put away properly organized and then also things like this from several teachers ago yes teachers as in plural because i found things from several teachers in there so i just want to make sure everything's nice clean and tidy before i begin so let me talk about some of the things that i am going to do just in case i'm not able to get my back to school video up in time so I'm going to share two things that I'm going to do to my lab area this year. Um, one of the things that I'm going to do is similar to my classroom in last year. So if you watch my beginning of the year tour and or end of year tour, it's going to be very similar. So I had purchased, I actually didn't purchase, there were some lights that I had purchased from Ikea a long time ago, but they had been sitting in a box in my new home since I had moved there. And so I figured, you know, they're sitting in a box, I might as well bring them to the school and I placed them underneath the shelving cabinet unit like this. Um, and it came out really nice when, you know, I had three windows in my classroom, but it didn't lend enough light like I have here in this particular classroom. So whenever I cut out the lights, it um, made and gave a particular feel to the classroom that the students really enjoyed. The other thing that I'm thinking about doing is getting whiteboard paint so that way I can paint this section of the wall all the way down and also the opposite side. So that way when students are working problems, they can do it on this area. They can also write comments and I can see it from anywhere in the lab. Or if I'm also standing in the classroom area, I can see it from afar. 
So those are just two ideas that I'm, well, idea number one with the lights I'm going to do anyways. Idea number two with the chalkboard, the whiteboard paint, I still haven't decided yet because I know some people have tried it out and they've said some negative things about the whiteboard paint. So I just want to make sure that I do my due diligence and research it and perhaps ask people at the hardware store about the whiteboard paint and what I need to do to make sure that I effectively apply it so that way it works when I use it in my classroom. So I had rewatched my end of year tour from last year, 2016, 2017, and I realized that I had showed my group bins and I said, okay, I'm gonna walk around and I'll come back around and I will explain uh, what I put in here and then I never did that. So let me take an opportunity to do that right now. And actually, forgive me, they're gonna be messed up because they're still the same bins from last year. I need to go back and see what's missing and we redo them. So let me show you right now. Okay, so before I show you the bins, let me show you um, what I had purchased. These actually I purchased before the start of school last year. I had purchased 32 sets of um, these 10 pack markers at Walmart because they were really cheap, cheaper than um, Target and I normally shop at Target. And so I just went ahead and bought 32 packs because what I was gonna do is place four of each different color marker in a bin per um, group and then I actually went back and I bought 32 more sets again so I had 64 boxes total and the reason I did this was because I had planned for some reason I thought like the boxes would get tore up um, and students would mess up the marker since I had been out of the classroom for so long however they stood up pretty well and I didn't have to use the other set of 32 markers and so that's why I have this a whole bunch of set I didn't have to go to the store this year to go buy those this, these were something that I got from the department. The ribbons, these are how I do my interactive notebooks. And again, just like last with the markers, I had bought additional ribbon sets. So let me explain how this works. So let me go ahead and show you what's inside the bin. Now, before I left the classroom the first time, I had a bin similar to this. However, the bin was connected to the actual bottom half. So, you know, however, I didn't have any problems with students like tossing this around or anything like that. So as I said, I would buy 32 packs of markers and the reason why is because I had eight groups and so I wanted to make sure that each group had four of each color so that way students can easily grab and not have to wait for another student to finish using like the black. They, there would be a black in the baggie for them. Same thing with the color pencils, four of each color. There would be a tape dispenser, sometimes like this or sometimes like this. However, I would sometimes not all the time, but sometimes have to take the tape away because there would be a few students who'd like to take the tape and they would like to like, you know, pull it all out and make a tape into the table and just waste the tape. Four, and at least in this case, there are five glue sticks. There should be four. Four scissors, four highlighters. And at one point I had um, rulers in there, but then my freshman class, at least one of my freshman classes, I had a group where the students were like smacking each other with rulers and so I was like, I'm gonna cut that out right now and so I took the rulers from them. The reason I do this is because for me it's just easier. I don't mind if students get up and move around the room but just as someone who did observations, it would kill me when I would just sit there and watch like five or seven minutes pass while kids were all crowded around one bin to grab markers and grab color pencils and grab the supplies. So I like to have everything at their table so that way they can just open it up. When I say you need a highlighter, the highlighters are there, markers, color pencils, whatnot. Everything that they need is at their table in the bins. Ugh. Ugh. Actually, not the only thing, I just didn't want to cook something before I came. 
So I've made a little bit of progress cleaning up my room and arranging it. Um, that table right there, I cleaned off a little bit. There were rats, I'm assuming multiple rats, because I had these Keurig cups, they were torn apart. There were just things all over the place, rat feces all over the table. So I had to get to work and clean that because it was pretty nasty. So they just had a field day with those, which is really weird because I know there were rats in the main building, but I never had an issue like that the entire school year. So I'm gonna have to be careful this coming school year to make sure that I put everything in like plastic bins um, still tight so that way they can't get in. Other than that, it is 3.30. I've been here an extra hour longer than I wanted to because I'd only planned to stay two hours. So I stayed an hour longer. Um, and the real reason I had come is because I had wanted to paint some of this wall right here, which I'm not gonna show. I'll show that when I do my reveal. But I left, as I always do, something at home, which I left my tools at home, my tape measure, my hammer, and some other supplies that I left. So I'm gonna come back tomorrow, which I'm a little bit scared because normally on the weekends they don't have the air running. And so it's probably gonna be a very hot day, but I'm gonna come early in the morning so that I can get it done before noon and not have to worry about the, the heat here. I also need to stop hoarding things. So I put together a whole bunch of um, things that I just really don't need anymore and I'm gonna put it in a box. So when that first week comes, when teachers come back, I'm gonna take it down to the library because usually that's where the librarian, she has this area set out for, you know, free, take what you want. So I'm just gonna take all this stuff that I don't need, I'm gonna put it there. So hopefully somebody might find the things that I don't want useful. Other than that, I'm going to head out and call it a day. Day one of fixing up my room. Oh. <laughs> if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe by click uh, by click <laughs> What was that? Uh. <laughs> One more time. We're gonna get this. I'm gonna get it about time. Well, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. If you're interested in any of my other videos, you can check them out by clicking on any of the links right here. If there was anything about this particular video that you liked, then make sure to hit that like button and or comment down below. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe by clicking on the button right here. So that way you can bond with James. As always, thanks for watching.